hello friends welcome back to I made me think for this exciting video uh, for web page layout testing using Gallium framework and let's continue our discussion on uh, this simple feature for image image comparison and different browser size related testing so this particular uh, for this I have considered this uh, this uh, sample web page wherein I have an image and I uh, want to just verify this image is present attributes and stuff like that and I will compare also reference image with the actual image okay so this uh, how to do image comparison so open that web page and this is the uh, uh, web element for that particular uh, web uh, that image on the website and what I need to do is this is an element so if it is visible and image so image file specify the path of the file uh, it should be a PNG file uh, with an tolerance or error percentage or uh, basically number of pixel of difference you expect between actual and original and uh, you can compare so you can also compare uh, with a filter blur and contrast with some particular uh, uh, difference percentage so this is how you compare an image uh, so let us run this and see what happens so run as JUnit and let it open a web page and it will do that image comparison test it will close the web uh, web page yeah so this is the one I'm specifying a full screen okay so test is failed which is fine so where uh, image compare folder refresh open the report HTML okay so on purpose uh, this test uh, I have failed for this particular uh, test scenario which is fine so let's so what it is showing is it is showing an image comparison so element does not look like this particular png file there are so many pixels of differences mismatch and the max allowed is 2 so yeah so if it is if it is not matching the actual and reference image then it will show this kind of error and if you click on this this is the uh, you know uh, additional difference it will show that this is actual this is expected and the con uh, comparison map so which is good and which is very uh, quick to understand so the same thing you can do for this also for but for this it is if you see the it is showing that image matches absolutely fine with the tolerance only two pixel difference which is which is nothing so if also click on heat map so that also it will show that what it has considered for testing <coughs> so this is how you can do image comparison so now let's run the last example uh, which is different browser size so browser size is uh, I also uh, I'm again considering the original example here the sample web page and here what I'm doing is using selenium I am specifying the browser size to be with X uh, with a particular height and width which is not the full screen so again so for <coughs> so element uh, web element remains the same the HTML remains the same only thing is the height and width is different so if you see if for full screen uh, this will not be the height and width uh, but for reduced browser size this is the height and width I'm expecting for all this uh, sample elements so based on your browser size you can specify your different expected width and height or which should be in this range it should be near top left right uh, whatever uh, as per your requirement so let us run this first and see what happens so I'm running it using JUnit so let's see w what is the browser size it is okay so it has defined a kind of a medium uh, width and medium height browser and let's see what happens so some tests are failed which is fine so browser size tests refresh and report HTML so if you see there are four tests failed four are passed so okay everywhere the height I think is the same only that the width is different because I have specified lesser width so it is showing that it should have 777 uh, 774 it is it should be 767 so which is good so if you see these so um, these are the reduced uh, web page heat uh, uh, heat map <coughs> and this is how for different browser size you can do different tests so what we can do is for different browser size just write a different gspec file or in the same gspec file also you can mention uh, 
for example in you can have different sections and different section before invoking a different section just set the expected browser size using selenium and do the test so this is how uh, <coughs> we can do a lot of testing layout related testing using uh, galen framework which is good uh, and whatever features i have covered are uh, more than enough for uh, all uh, you know day to day uh, layout website layout testing so if you like this video please uh, hit like comment and share my youtube channel thanks for watching